who is Oscar Goodman. Besides Jay Brown, the other intersection point in the Harry Reid corruption universe is Oscar Goodman, lawyer and former mayor of Las Vegas. His wife Carolyn is now mayor. Goodman has long been partnered in his law practice with Jay Brown, Harry Reid's bagman, so the three are entangled in a network of racketeering. Visually, the three form a social connection graph with Reed and Goodman and two primary nodal points and Jay Brown connecting as a facilitator consigliere. During his early career as a defense attorney, Goodman represented the leading organized crime figures in Las Vegas and beyond, such as Meyer Lansky, former Stardust Casino boss Lefty Frank Lefty Rosenthal, Kansas City mafiosos Nick Sevilla and Carl DeLuna. DeLuna sat in Goodman's office with his feet on the desk threatening to kill Alan Glick if he didn't sell his Argent Casino Corporation. Goodman also represented Jimmy Chagra, the 1970s drug trafficker who ordered the murder of federal judge John H. Wood Jr. But Goodman's most notorious mafia client was Chicago mobster Anthony Tony the Ant Spilatro. Goodman considered Spilatro a gentleman, though the ant had made his rep cracking a guy's head in a vice until his eye popped out to make him squeal. Tony and his brother Michael ended up beaten and buried alive in an Indi Indiana cornfield in 1986. I've never been to a mafia meeting. I know what the government says. Uh, over the years, my clients have never even suggested to me that there is an organization such as the mafia. Another Goodman client was Jack Gordon, who later married Latoya Jackson and managed John Wayne Bobbitt. Latoya later penned a bio that detailed Gordon's abuse. Gordon had Genovese mobsters follow Latoya to keep her under control. Gordon and his partner Saul Segi ran a bribe attempt against gaming commissioner Harry Reid, Reed, which Reid rejected. But Saul's son, Kerry, was kidnapped two months later and questions abound. Goodman was in the middle of all of this. Atlantic City boss Nicky Scarfo and underling Phil Leonetti were both Goodman clients, though both whacked nearly a dozen people apiece. After Tony and Michael Spilatro were buried alive in the Indiana cornfield in 1986, Spilatro cronies and Goodman Brown clients like Joey Cusimano, Fat Irby Blitzstein, Rocco Lombardo, and Chris Petty all scurried for cover at Rick Rizzolo's Crazy Horse 2 Topless Bar as Rizzolo took over the Vegas mob in the early 90s. Rizzolo plays, played parts in future campaign fraud and murder under the blind eye of Mayor Goodman in the 2000s until his empire crashed. Cusimano scurried for Goodman right after he was shot. Total murders committed by Goodman's clients lowball at 40 but are likely much higher. Goodman didn't discriminate. He represented the low and high of organized crime in Vegas lowlifes. Publicly, Goodman has been portrayed as being an affable good guy, just interested in giving every citizen an even break, no matter how bad their luck. He even was the force behind the Vegas Mob Museum, which makes the mob a tourist attraction. Obviously, some things have been written in the papers about tax dollars being used. You know, and uh, those are morons and idiots who are even suggesting that. We've had uh, meetings every month for 10 years about this, and all of a sudden, these monkeys fell out of bed, and uh, a light bulb went on when they hit their head. I don't understand it. But they're, they're not going to rain on my parade, that's for damn sure. You know, they tell me not to say that I believe 800,000 people will be down here, that I'm only supposed to say 500,000 or 400, 800,000 people will be here. But the reality is that Goodman is a walking crime magnet akin to the Better Call Saul character in the Breaking Bad series. Goodman's law office was a front for the $100 million J. Peter securities fraud in the 1980s. Goodman had a part in the bribery of Speaker Bob Griffin in Missouri in the Arizona Charlie's Riverboat gambling deal in 1994. Goodman fronted the E-Ventures 1998 online gaming project of convicted mob swindler Kerry Rogers, which saw a sweetheart payout of $200,000 to Reed Friend, former mobbed-up New Jersey Senator Robert Torricelli. Rogers died in 2015 in a Mexican prison after a bad land deal with none other than Sig Rogich, another Harry Reid friend. It is well known that Goodman has taken bribes himself. He was also close to impeach federal judge Harry Claiborne, who took bribes and girls from pimp Joe Conforti. You know, I have this real hatred for these informants that the government uses. And I refer to them in all of my cases as rats. The only good rat is a dead rat. Oscar gave me this picture a long time ago. The only good rat is a dead rat. And do you think that? I sure do. You know, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. I 
should say, if you can't do the time, don't commit the crime. And what I do with the jury to really emphasize how these rats are in their pocket is I'll go like this right in front of them. Hold my hand out just like this and say, now, uh, Mr. Rat Witness, uh, what do you say about Mr. Goodman's client? He stinks. So this is just like cheap theatrics, really? It's not cheap theatrics because it makes a point. It shows that they're on the same arm that the government is, and the government has complete control to have them say whatever they want to say. In short, Oscar Goodman's clients have been murderers, swindlers, and political bribesters. As mayor, along with his wife, Carolyn, they've held enormous power over Las Vegas development deals. While Goodman and Reed were not close, they used Jay Brown in the same way, funneling political, business, and real estate patronage through him. Goodman as Brown's law partner and as mayor, while Reed used Brown as his bagman. That's how the Reed-Brown-Goodman triumvirate have survived for so long, abusing the concept of fair play to run out the legal clock while they run multiple scams. What is important to understand is that Harry Reed, Jay Brown, and Oscar Goodman play interlocking roles in Las Vegas racketeering.